here is 22nd March 1979. I was working in Nepal in Bir Hospital in the, as a registrar in the physician with Dr. Pahari, Dr. Satyal and Kirana Pandey. I came here intentionally with... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and with a view, actually I had worked in Nepal seven years in a health service. I knew exactly what is going there, but I wanted to do my MRCD. And at that time, I had to take two years on paid leave and came in this country. I never thought I would be staying here this long, but there I am. Now, this, uh, the topic today is the coronary heart disease. And it very thrills me and become very excited about it. As you know, the heart is the organ which every lover also get excited. <laughs> Somebody says, your heart be keeping me alive. <laughs> like that. It is there. So, and the, the change that I have seen, even in this country, since I came in 79 to now, is dramatic, which you won't believe. So much changes have been. All the changes have been for the good. As you know, this country, United Kingdom, <coughs> has been one of the worst in the Europe, in the incidence of the coronary heart disease. The worst part of the United Kingdom were Scotland, which is the highest incidence of the coronary heart disease, and then England and Wales. But with this all treatment, it, things have changed. And I will try to emphasize what has changed and how we can change and prevent it. Okay. So I'll just uh, go on this different topic. Heart, coronary heart disease, what is it? How common? Morbidity, risk factor, causes, types, symptoms, investigation, and treatment. Next. So now the heart, as you know, I'm sure. Luckily, most of you would have your heart in the left side. That's where it is our heart. Okay? But there is one in 12,000 people where the heart is in the right side. And that's called dextrocardia. And there, in them, all the viscera, the liver, and that's also on the opposite side. Actually, it is always a, like a catch question, you know. Like, I mean, I used to teach the medical students uh, from the St. Thomas say all guys. And we I had two or three these, you know, collected from the hospital with dextrocardia. And then you ask them, listen to the heart. Then they keep there. And then, I can't hear everything. Yeah. And then, you know, and but at the end, you know, they can trace it within the right. So that is not abnormal. Dextrocardia does happen and people have a completely normal heart and coronary arteries even with dextrocardia. Now the heart is a very fascinating organ. You see, if you see the heart, it is doing like this all the time. Going like this, going like this. It never stops as far as we can see. But it is clever. It works 50% of the time, 50% it stops. The contraction of the heart is called systole. That means the, all the chambers of the heart are contracting. And they are sending the blood to the different part of the body. Now, if you see in your own body, then there is the upper chamber called right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. Now from the right atrium, all the blood from the body is collected. That goes to the left, vent right ventricle through a gateway, something valve. And from the right ventricle, because this oxygen blood which you are getting back is all deoxygenated. Its oxygen has been utilized. And you know oxygen is very vital even for brain to survive even a few minutes. So, from the right heart, you send the blood to the lung through the pulmonary arteries. And there, in the lung, then at the end of the alveoli, there is the transmission of the of, uh, text between the oxygen and carbon dioxide. So, you throw the carbon dioxide out, and the oxygen which you have combines with the hemoglobin, the red component of the red cell. And if you send it to the, uh, back to the left atrium, and from the left ventricle, and from left ventricle, you pump it through the whole body. And this is going on, no stop. If it just stops, we are gone. So we don't want it to stop. And normally, most of us would have a heart rate of 60, 70, or 80. But it's nothing to worry. But, but sometimes, if your answers are this, suddenly your heart rate goes down, up. Because you secret a lot of adrenaline and noradrenaline in your system, which raises the heart rate. And uh, so you can see this, you know, the, and the nature is very clever. If you see the heart, the right side of the heart is very thin, okay? The right ventricle, 
and the right atrium is thin because from the right ventricle we are pumping the blood only up to the lung. But the left ventricle is almost double the thick of the size. And because it has to pump really hard, because it has, the blood has to go from the head up to the toe. So you can see the nature is so clever, you know, how it, it has done the thing. <coughs> okay, yeah. And the same thing I have mentioned to you because of the oxygen here. Remember you here. Okay. So, now when we talk about the coronary artery disease, now the coronary arteries are the arteries of the heart. The irony is it, you see, the heart has got the whole body all the time, but it can't utilize that blood. Like if you are working in the bank, you handle so many thousands of notes, lakhs of rupees, but you can't take it home. Similarly, the poor heart, though has got the blood of the whole body at any time, you know, with it, but still it has to be supplied by some, uh, some arteries called the coronary arteries. And there are two coronary arteries, one on the right, one on the left. And another interesting thing, because as you know, the le left ventricle is much thicker, double the size of the right, and has to work hard, that means he has to get more blood supply. So between the two coronary arteries, the right and the left, the left is almost double the size of the right. And the cardiologist, for all practical purposes, takes right coronary artery and the two branches of the left coronary artery, which is one is called anterior descending, coming down, and the another called circumflex going down at the three coronary arteries. That's why when people say to you, you have got three vessel disease, that means basically these three arteries.